Is that live? That's live. Yeah, you are live. Okay. <laughs> I'm live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, hey, uh, hopefully everybody that's joined me um, is um, is uh, watch the video, so we have something to talk about. So I don't want to repeat everything on the video, but basically there are certain telltale signs for um, people who are cheating. One obvious mm -hmm. one is, well, the easiest one is obviously if you are here with your girl, but I think many of you are over there uh, that are watching and maybe are not here in the Philippines. And so I talked a bit about that, you know, um, people being unavailable when they are unavailable. The main, the main thing is uh, that they have, a change in their pattern and their pat their behavioral pattern that tells you that something is going on. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read uh, some uh, comments here. Uh, good morning, Mr. Ron. Nice to see you. Uh, Duata, today Paul is going to give us the ultimate guide to red pill alphas <laughs> that want to juggle lots of Filipinas at the same time. I think no, I'm actually talking rather the opposite about uh, women who cheat. Uh, so if you're juggling a lot of women, I mean, if you've got, if you're dating multiple women, you don't really care whether she cheats or not. I would think if you're dating three, four women at the same time, why would you care? I, I don't think you do care because you're not emotionally bound to that person. Well, if you are with just one person, you're typically emotionally bound to that person. So you do care. I would think, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> um, Treat them mean, uh, keep them keen. Make them sweat, keep them wet. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> That's from Tuata. <laughs> Make them sweat, keep them wet. I like that. Uh, just a bill or two. Cheating in the PI in the Philippines, is that a how-to guide? No, it's not a how-to guide. It's how to discover if she is cheating, not how to cheat. Maybe that would have been a better video for you guys. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, let's keep it light here. Uh, cheating in the Philippines, is this a how-to guide? Oh, I just read that, sorry. Uh, Jordi, good morning, Jordi. Oh, not... Um, uh, I was pulling your leg, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, so that's kind of what I wanted to cover. But we can talk about other subject matters. I know this; it's not a really a big subject matter. There's really not that much to say about it, except what I said in the video. And I kind of don't want to repeat that. But uh, if you guys got any questions about it, like if you have any, any experience with that, maybe you caught someone cheating. How did you catch them? What what kind of triggered off? You know, the main thing I've noticed with me, like when I've been in relationships, is a gut feeling. I've always had a gut feeling something is wrong, but I've always overseen it. Meaning, like I'm like, ah, just it's just my imagination. I tell myself, but you know what? That gut feeling is almost always right. So, if you're a guy and you have a gut feeling something is going on, more than probably something is going on. So that's. That's what you need to listen to. And I'm sure it's the same with females, but at least with us guys, I think we tend to oversee it. We tend to like push it to the side because we're very logical type of humans, meaning that if we don't have something we can point our finger on exactly, then we kind of like, ah, uh, that's nothing. But typically our gut feeling is putting things together that we don't kind of comprehend 100% and giving us a bad feeling that something is wrong here. Um, Gomor Ike says, uh, make them sweat, keep them wet. He's going to have to remember that one. <laughs> uh, Tuatha says, normally they claim they lost their pay pocket in the jeepney home. Really? I never heard that one before, but, you know, I've heard they've lost their phone. Uh, they're borrowing their brother's phone, their sister's phone. Um, all kinds of excuse, excuses why they can't communicate with you, hinting at that you need to buy them a new phone if you want to continue the conversation. Yeah. I think my phone's broken. Your phone's broken? <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> you can't pull that one on me because I can see if it's broken or not. <laughs> uh, Jordi says, what do you advise for somebody living in Holland but want to date a Filipina? 
start online or just find one in the Philippines. I can take a leave for three months maximum. Well, uh, if you're coming here like on a vacation, I, I would say, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you're going to chat with girls online, if you're going to be here for three months, I'd, I'd, I'd line up at least five, you know, because you never know. I've had this happen to me where I met the girl online and talked to her for like two or three months. And I, I thought the chemistry was there. I mean, I, we were really having a good time online. I mean, I thought this is the girl I want to be with. And I came over here and I basically knew after two days with her that this is girl I do not want to be with. So if I'd had other girls lined up, I would have probably told her three, four days into it that, you know what, this is not going to work out. But I was only on like a two, two and a half week vacation. So I kind of like, uh, you know, if I dump her, I'm going to have to go look for somebody else. How many days is that going to take? And I had all this vacation set up. So call it laziness or whatever. I, I couldn't be bothered. So if you have multiple girls set up, maybe the first one you meet is the perfect one. Then, you know, you don't see the others. You just stay with her. But yeah, so that's what I would do. It's kind of hard if you're only here for a few weeks to really meet somebody because by the time you start chatting with people, talking to people, going on dates, then at least probably four or five days is already gone. So... Uh, Go Mark Hike asks, do girls out there do um, OnlyFans? Yeah, there are girls that do that over here. OnlyFans has become famous. You know, this OnlyFans is based. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, says for some is to stay out of poverty. It's understandable enough, but you know, I think social media has kind of. Um, not pushing, but has made the default behavior of some women obvious. You know, the easy way out, going to OnlyFans, taking their clothes off, taking sexy pictures. I mean, I see some girls on YouTube jumping up and down in skimpy bikinis every day, showing off, and I'm wondering why are they not only in OnlyFans? I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's so. I mean, it's it's uh, yeah, it's become a thing here too, and. Um, uh, it's for the younger generation, obviously. So I, I kind of understand it. Man, if you can make a uh, hundred times what a normal Filipino makes, just sitting there taking pictures of yourself, why not? I, I can understand it. There's one girl here that's very popular, right? That's an OnlyFans. What's her name again? You don't know? Okay. No, you don't want to say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Gomar says, uh, yep, listen to your instinct. Yeah, always. Uh, Drew, so Paul, if she cheats, she cheats. I just hope people discover it. Yeah, you know, I think if she just cheats once, you know, it's an accident, you might not discover it. But if it's a continuous thing, it's kind of a lack of character type of deal, you're sooner or later, you're going to find something. There, there are going to be red flags somewhere, you know, and if you follow... Don't, like I say, don't listen to her words. Watch her behavior. And if you watch her behavior, it's typically very obvious, especially if you're here. I mean, if you're here. But if you're in the West talking to someone, it can be harder. Uh, my Moroccan girlfriend did monkey branch on me. She said before breakup she cannot talk. She cannot have menstruation pain and want to sleep every night early. I catch her late at WhatsApp online hurt me a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's how women do it, right? They'll be on, and you must remember also they have multiple Facebook accounts, many girls over here. That's also another bad sign. So if you're talking to a girl on one Facebook and then discover she has another Facebook that's active, that's a really bad sign. That's not their brother, Paul. <laughs> yeah, don't you love it? Oh, hey, that's my brother, and it's actually their lover. <laughs> and Filipino guys, the worst thing, some Filipino guys will go along with it because she's getting money from the foreigner. He's having a good life. He's got the girl. He's getting all the benefits. The guy in the West is getting none of the benefits. So, you know, they'll go along with it. Some, not all, but some will, yeah. Uh, Jordi, three months sounds like a great vacation. Oh, yeah, three months is... It's a good time here. Yeah. Two weeks is kind of short. 
the problem, in, especially in the US, maybe not so much in Europe, but in the US, typically people have two weeks vacation and after five years, you get three weeks vacation if you stay with the same company, right? And then after what is it, 10 years, you get four weeks vacation and then 15, it's maybe five weeks. In Europe, most countries, you get four or five weeks the first year you start working. So there we have a, they have a tendency to uh, take longer vacations than we do. Uh, Duata, how many girlfriends can I have if I'm living on 15K USD a month? Oh, my God. I think you can have as many as you want. Um, <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to keep up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could basically rent five condos and put a girl in each one of them in different places in town, I guess, if you wanted to. If that's If that's your deal, you could do that. Would I want to do that? No. But uh, everybody, certain things brings happiness to different people. So go ahead, Duatha. <laughs> Rent yourself five condos. Uh, Gomor Pay says, wow. Else. Huh? Pay for Ray Jones says, after a couple of beers, I have a gut feeling. <laughs> uh, Gomor says, um, that's a lot of money. I, I I think he's joking, man. I think he's joking. I don't think he's being serious. Babe, can you heat this up? Can you heat me up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm online, babe. <laughs> uh, see. Ron says, it would be a little tough for Ne to cheat since she runs our, our stores out of our home and we are together night and day, lol. Yeah, and I, I don't think she would cheat either. <laughs> it sounds like you two have a good relationship. But yeah, I mean, if you're together all the time, it's obviously much harder to cheat. But um, the point of a character is not whether she cheats or not. That is part of it. But whether she has the option to cheat. If she has an option to cheat and she doesn't exercise that option, that's basically a good character. But... If she has the option and she exercises that option, well, that's that's not good, right? But if she never has a, that option, then you don't really know, really know right? Um, off the Cuff Adventures with Jamie says, Good evening, Paul from Canada. Good evening, Canada. Uh, my, um, my father lives in Canada, so I've been there many times, close to Toronto. Um, GI says, Collect and select for girls only not for women women can sense your collection goal not sure what that means but okay uh jenny says not much you can do but to dump her big time lots of nice women there awaiting a new life with a nice guy hi me as well jenny says hi to you hi <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's my that's my thing too. I, I don't care whether you're in the West or here. If she's cheating, you hit the next button. Because, no. you know, for for women, cheating is typically worse than for men. Because for women, it's an emotional bond. For men, it's a physical thing. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a bit different. And I know people don't like to hear that, but that's just reality. So when a woman cheats, usually it's an emotional bond to that guy. So she's already creating an emotional bond with him. So that's worse than just a physical thing. If it was just a physical thing, it's it's really it's it's not okay, but it's not as bad for me personally. Like for example, if uh, if I was with a girl and she went out drinking one night and uh, she got drunk and had sex with a guy, that was the only time. That's a lot more forgivable than a, a girl that's been with a guy like for several times maybe a couple of months three months seeing him on a regular basis obviously you know hello steel how are you stop making so much noise if they have whatsapp that is proof they're communicating with overseas guys uh really you think so i, I don't know there are several people to have whatsapp here because it's kind of um easy to use um, kind of like uh, Messenger. No, it's what's up here, baby. It's kind of um, not usual for a girl. What's up is not that usual? No, uh -huh. mostly 
Viber is more Viber. Like when I was dating, many girls had Viber. Well, some of them are because they're chatting foreigners. Because they're chatting with foreigners only. Yeah. So if they if they have Viber or WhatsApp, they're usually chatting with foreigner. But Messenger, maybe not so much. Most of the time, it's Messenger. Messenger, Whoever because it's free, right? Messenger, messenger is free. You can use Messenger free here without a data plan, right? Yeah, without a data plan. You can yeah. Send messenger. yeah. So yeah, Messenger here is actually free to use uh, without a data plan. Uh, um, you can't send pictures and all, just text. So yeah. So yeah, Mia confirms what you just said. Um, it's good to take a month's vacation and a month without pay. You know, I think in the West we focus way too much on money, to be honest. Um, it seems to be work, 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 money, money, money. And uh, you need to live life, you know. Before you know it, you're 60 or 70 or 80 and then you're dead. You know, so you got you got to enjoy life, man. Even when you're younger and you're trying to save some money, you got to set something aside so you can get away and enjoy enjoy life and see what you have to look forward to in the future. Oh, Paul, I can keep up. Let me worry about that. Just give me a number. <laughs> you want a number? 15K. You want to maximize the amount of women. Ah, oh, God, I would say you could have probably 15 different women a, a week if you wanted to with that type of money or more. So basically two women a day. If you can do more than two a day, man, you're crazy. You know how much chatting that would involve? You'd have to hire someone to chat for you. Uh, Steele says, hello, Mr. Ron. Uh, GIM says, I think men cheat more than women. Well, I'm not sure about that, really. Um, I think women are better at concealing it than men. Um, it's easier for them to cheat, obviously. Uh, so, but statistically, statistically speaking, you know, there are approximately the same amount of men and the same amount of women in a relationship. So I don't know. I don't know if there's any statistics over that. For, but uh, here in the Philippines, that seems to be the case. I don't think so, so much in the West. But here in the Philippines, absolutely. Uh, Alberto says, when you are in love and you can find your girlfriend in bed with someone and believe that he is, quali he is the quality tester of the mattress. <laughs> Love makes you blind, so that's true, yeah. <laughs> the quality tester of the mattress. <laughs> oh. I let them know they're easy to replace. Yeah, that is exactly right. That's what I say, too. <laughs> Mia's looking at me. <laughs> I can't say too much. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, you got a good point there, Mr. Steele. Um, Competition anxiety does world of wonders for women, it seems like. You know, I mean, but it's true over here. You just tell them, you know, don't don't get this one eye that's like so focused on a woman that she can run run shot over you. You know, tell her, you know, if she misbehaves, she's out. That's, I, I don't put up with BS, so. Me too. <laughs> yes, that's me too. <laughs> Uh, okay, you're wise, Paul. How old are you? That's old a good enough. <laughs> old enough. <laughs> I'm of legal age. <laughs> Me is laughing. Yeah, I'm over 50. So, yeah. Um, Mark Richards, I heard that the Filipino will say he's just a friend and he's gay to relax the foreigner. That's also true. But he might not be gay. He might be a boyfriend. Have you heard of this? Yeah, I've heard of brothers. I've heard of my gay friend. I've heard of cousin. It's it's always something, you know. It's always something. So, but you never know. It might actually be their gay friend or their brother. So the problem is, if you're chatting with a girl online, you really don't know. I mean, you don't know. You can. You have to be here to really, really vet her. So. Um, Someone online, it's, it's hard to know. Is it really her brother or is it someone else? So, uh, GIM says, Paul, you're saying before your GF you had few selections. You had few selections. You mean if I dated before I met my girlfriend? Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, 
Good morning uh, to JD from Oslo. Um, I have a good friend that lives there over there. Um, Bill says, interesting topic, yeah. Um, for me, it's about respect. Yeah, true. Uh, Dennis says, Muslim faith is looking better. They know how to keep their multiple girlfriends in line, lol. How do Filipinas feel about Muslim standards for women? Ask me for her input. I'm looking for used Quran. <laughs> used Quran. <laughs> uh, maybe you can find one on Amazon. I don't know. Babe, how do you guys, how do you feel about uh, Muslims? Would you date a Muslim guy? Mm. No? I don't like Muslims. I mean, I'm not being racist but i just don't like well muslim is not a race so yeah, it's a religion know, i just don't want to be involved with you know with, why because like in our relationship one thing i want is loyalty and me only and i know you can change me directly you can i mean there's a lot of girls out there but i, I just want so you're I, saying because muslims can marry multiple girls yeah, I, I, but like, most don't marriage, you know that right for me marriage is very like, oh, it's a holy matrimony. It's just between you two. Okay. Me is saying no to Muslims because they can marry more than one and marriage is holy. It's a holy okay. for her. Holy moly. <laughs> Expats have more opportunity to cheat than Filipinas do. Uh, no, I don't. I don't agree with that, Mr. Ron. Um, you know, a 25-year-old girl has lots of opportunities to cheat. You know, every guy that walks by her. Um, just about. Um, hey, Paul, I remember in your older videos, your hair color was dark brown, black. Now it's been blonde for a while. Did you color it before or now? Just curious. I have just natural changing color in my hair, man. It's just <laughs> sometimes it's gray, sometimes it's blonde, sometimes it's black. You know? <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've colored my hair back then and now just different colors. I have a bit of gray on the side and I try to get rid of it. it makes me look younger. <laughs> uh, in the Philippines, the bamboo telegraph is sur surveillance. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Especially if you live in a place like uh, Dumaguete or smaller towns. I mean, God, the jungle telegraph. Everybody, every girl has brothers, cousins, and cousins of cousins, and they all see everything. And if you're if you're just chatting or if, if, for example, you're at a restaurant and some girl starts talking to you, yeah, by the, time, by the time you get home, it'll be, who was that girl you were talking to at the restaurant? <laughs> you're like, oh, my God, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I'll have to beep that out. Beep. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, agree, Paul. Get busy living, yeah. You gotta, you gotta live life, man. Uh, cheating is cheating, whether drunk, high, or sober, and just not be tolerated. Yeah, it shouldn't be tolerated. But I'm just saying, it's the different. Uh, what do you call it? Levels of cheating, I think. Stop looking at me that Tell way. Me the level. <laughs> There's level one and level ten. <laughs> What's level one. Level one is uh, uh, drunk. That's level one. <laughs> he is giving me the bad look. Can you disappear into the bedroom so I can say what I want to say? <laughs> I can do more than two a day, Paul says to, to us. Okay, welcome to the Philippines. How do you say that again? Mabuhay. Mabuhay to us. <laughs> oh man. Are you actually are you actually moving here to us? I mean, I, I really want to know, or is it just uh I mean, I, I think you're kind of joking around. Um, men don't cheat. They exercise their options. Well, Mike, I can't comment on that right now, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> they don't men don't cheat. They exercise their options. No, Have you heard it, that? It doesn't matter. If you are in a good relationship with a good bond, and you cheating, I, I mean, you hoeing out to other girls, that's cheating. That's cheating? Not yeah. exercising your options? Babe, you can exercise options. High value men have a lot of options. You know? We're talking red pill now, are we? No, that's just reality. 
it's not it's not red pill that's a, just a fact if you're a high value man okay like say you're an actor famous actor okay. you have a lot of options yeah, you okay do have a lot of remember options. the prerogative of a woman is to secure one man the prerogative of a man is to spread his seed so when a man is with a woman she's getting everything she ever wanted a man is not so yeah high value men do exercise their options but yeah, they're they're discreet yeah. about it yeah but but like if you are in a in a in a good relationship where you know everything seems perfect like you don't really argue much you you know you relate your bond together is, okay. is so tight let, and let, let, up, let me know, give you an example let me live, give you an example if you lived in the 14th century and a king came to you a good looking king and he said will you marry me and let's say you're a poor girl and remember back then poor was really freaking poor and he said will you marry me you'd have said 100 you would have said yes. Of course you're gonna say yes yes you're gonna say yes you think that king is not gonna have other girls men have always been like that it's just in the last 50 yeah, to 100 but, years listen, where walt listen. disney and all this other feminist bs has expected men men are not like women Generation. It doesn't matter what generation you're in. Yes, men does. are men and women are women. Yes, there's a, so, a certain social construct, but in the end, in the end, when you dig deep, dig deep, dig deep, we are who we are, you know. Yeah, but and if, like as a generation, I'm not should, saying men should do it, but I'm saying high value men do it. They they are yeah, discreet but the about it. You gave, just like the king and the, and the poor. Yeah. Yeah, of course, the king has a possibility. He has every right to do so because like he have he, the king has every right to do so but yeah, not other guys getting out that girl in a property so you so that king doesn't have any so because he's a king her. because he's a king he has a right to do it right well, what can you say? Yeah. but another man doesn't so you're saying if you have enough money and enough power you have a right to do it but a normal man doesn't is that what you're saying uh, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> got you. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> so, guys, if you have enough money and power, it's okay. But normal guys, it's not okay. There you go. Female nature. <laughs> I got you. So good. <laughs> Do I listen? Sorry, guys. That's the warm up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, sit down. Let me continue here. Yeah, that was the warm up act. Act two will continue, or round two, I should call it sooner, <laughs> later. <laughs> okay, babe, let's sit down. Let me, <clears throat> let me. <sighs> Women cheat because they have to get emotionally involved to lay down for a man. Yeah, I mean, most most women get an emotional bond to the guy they cheat with. Otherwise, they only do it, you know, uh, most women. Now, some women in the West, yeah, they they become men, basically. Uh, good morning from Pala Royang, Thailand. Oh, Thailand. Wow. Uh, welcome to the live cast from Thailand there. Uh, Jenny says, I must say, I was happy to see you and Mia together again. You both look happy and in love. You both are a nice couple together. Thank you, Jenny. I will always tell them to bring a sister. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I think if I asked Mia that, she'd kill me. <laughs> uh, we're just having fun, guys. You got to keep it on the light section. You know what I mean? Uh, cheating is everywhere, so if you feel it's not good, don't tolerate it. It's nonsense. Yeah, yes. I mean it's it's yes. up it's up to you as a person whether you tolerate it or not, right? Um, vet question mark may maybe do some testing of her resolve for you. Yeah, and that's another thing. If you know someone here, right? If you know a guy here, you can test her, right? I mean, if he's a you know. Good looking guy, you you know him really well. Say, test this girl for me and see what try to pick her up and see what happens. Yeah. Uh let's see. Let's go back here. My friend said she 
she my friend said she went to see her gay friend. I believe her after she sent me a picture. A blind man could actually see it. Yeah, there are a lot of gay. I mean, I've never been in a country with more lady boys than here. It's just maybe it's Thailand has more. I've heard a lot of lady boys in Thailand, but God Almighty, there's. It seems like this every. Is a Catholic country. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. <laughs> some Mormons take multiple wives. Yeah, so there are some Christians that take multiple wives. Um, Tawata says, I think 12 is a good number for a harem. Okay. Best way to tell if a girl is cheating on you is ask her, are you cheating on me? And watch, listen to her reaction. Actually, not listen, but watch her face. Watch her facial, body language. her body language, yeah. Body language is very, very difficult to fake. So if you study up in body language and you kind of get to know how people react and their face, facial stuff, it, it becomes more obvious. We read that book. What was it again? Huh? What was the name of that book about the body language? What everybody is saying. Yeah, what everybody is saying. I don't remember the author, but he by worked. Joe Navarro. By Joe Navarro. He worked for the CIA for many years. It's been a while since I read that book. I need to reread it because. No, was... I'm not yet done reading it. There's a lot of good hints on there. So, yeah. Uh, Mr. Ron, girls here flirt with me on all the time because they like Americans. Maybe you don't get that, but I do. <laughs> no, you get that all I don't the time. get that, Mr. Ron. <laughs> they never flirt you with me. You get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've had them do it when I was with them. Yeah, they do that over here. But it's, I don't know. Some of the flirting is actually not like they're trying to pick you up flirting. They, they, they just like to flirt over here. It's kind of a fun thing, you know? They just, they just they, enjoy flirting. It's not. Sit down, babe. <laughs> Let me do my life cast. It's not, oh my god! It's not... <laughs> Let me do my life cast. If you're afraid oh, of teachers, like... don't get in a relationship, says Paul Reeves. Uh, what? If you're afraid of teachers, don't get in a relationship. No, 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 no. That's no. I mean, just watch out for that. Keep an eye on it. But uh, you should know your girl after a year or after a few months. I'm afraid of teachers. Should I also stay clear of relationships? No. Uh, it's not cheating if you have not met. It's not relationship if you haven't met each other. It's not relationship. <laughs> well, uh, I think some people would disagree on that. Some people would agree. Um, me, I don't think it's a relationship until you guys have met. Because like I say, you can talk all you want on cam. You don't really know to meet that person uh, in real. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Lars says, I, I see she's in control. Well, no, she she I'm lost not. the argument. So, uh, <laughs> hi Paul, nice to meet you here. In comment, I was so very happy and content with my wife that I didn't doubt a moment to take me a second one too. <laughs> so you took a second one because you liked the first one so much. Um, Duarte says uh, she's he he is moving here. Well, it'll be uh, nice to see you, man, when you get here. Uh, hopefully we can meet up for a coffee. Uh, uh, hey, Paul, your channel is my favorite, says Michael. I like uh, Mia and Gio as well, but you are not afraid to speak about the topics that truly interest me from a divorced man's perspective. Yeah, I think once you've been through one or two, or some people even three or four, me too, I think it kind of opens your eyes to a lot of things that you are blinded to. And the reason you're blinded to, is, to it is because society i don't know if it's on purpose or per design but they blind you to it with all the you know all the ways we are taught from when we are young boys uh and walt disney and the female nature is so kind and good and men are horrible and uh you know men are privileged and everything going on in society today you think that men are monsters you know so yeah it takes a while to see the truth it took me a while anyway. Men are men and women are women. And we have certain natures, you know, we just have to accept that. Cheating is so common in, in America, it's a reason to want to leave. Is it the same there in the Philippines? I, I would say typically no. I mean, but again, it depends also on you as a guy. Uh, if you do cheating, then? It has not, not, nothing to do with you do cheating. It's, it's you as a guy. If you... If you show up and 
uh, you know, you're 50 pounds overweight and all you do is go and drink and all that. And the girl's just at home. Well, she's going to get bored, right? You have to have something. You have to have some type of attraction. To, she has to have some type of attraction to you. So, you know, you know, you got to, to me at least, I got to, I try to stay fit. I try to go out and have fun, do fun things. I try to joke a lot. I try to do stuff to make the well, person I'm with, Mia, happy, you know? So that's kind of important. If you're any relationship, you have to work at it. You can't just expect them to just be there and not do anything. You have you have to work at the relationship, whatever relationship you're in. <laughs> Lars says, oops, now I'm in trouble. Exactly. Now, nah, man, we have good discussions, you know. I usually win the discussion, though. <laughs> Uh, she hates that though. How much does she pay in bills a month? Is she living with you for free? No, I'm not. No, she's not. She says. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, Mia makes some money online and then uh, she contributes. Uh, she does. Um, so she's she's just, that's the way she is. And that's the way I I... I say it has to be. I mean, if somebody's making money, I'm making money, and she's making money, and she doesn't want to contribute. Uh, you know, it's it's not the way I do it. And same when I lived in the West. You know, if I was with a girl, she had to contribute. I didn't I didn't put up with the BS that the man had to pay everything. If you've got a job and making money, yeah, you can. Funny with um, it's so funny. She sounds very Western to me now. Why do you say that, Mike? Because she speaks English. <laughs> She's not. She's not. Is it? Is it because I, I fluent in English? Well, some people say it like that, but like other people says that I am Westernized now just because I can, you know, I can uh, counteract. I can talk to you back, like you know, say something that I want. Have a discussion. Yeah. No, that's not having. I love having discussions, by the way. So I mean, that's one of the things I like about being with me. I don't. I don't want a yes girl. Yes, yes, no, yes, no. Never talks. You know, I I was with a girl like that before, and it's oh, it's so boring. You got to have someone you can interact with, talk to, have great discussions. That's what I like. So, um, uh, well, she's not Westernized. I can tell you that she's her English is great. Her English has become good, but uh, Westernized? No, she's not. Um, let's see, oh, that's for go more high. Uh, chastity belts used to be a thing yeah they used to be a secure the woman that way but you must remember back then they didn't have dna testing so they wanted to secure their dna like right if you're a king you wanted to make sure that female wasn't bouncing around because you wanted to make sure that kid was yours and they've actually shown after the fact that some of those uh queens were unfaithful because the dna didn't belong to the king so you know <laughs> You know, women have been unfaithful through times. And uh, before, back then, it was much more serious, obviously. So yeah, they had to be a lot more careful. Um, uh, Go More Hike says, I don't, I think I won't be letting one move in with me anytime soon when I get out there. No, you shouldn't. You should, you should stay, um, I wouldn't say single, but don't have a living girlfriend straight away. Because I've talked about this also. There's that common law, 147 and 148. So you have to be a bit careful now nowadays with that. Uh, Paul, are you a high value man? No, I'm a very low, low value man. <laughs> I'm right at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best live show. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> uh, agent opting out. If a woman doesn't like that, you have options to exercise. They are free to leave. No marriage, no cohabitation. Well, you know, a gent opting out, you have a really good point there. Women will typically chase guys that, you know, have their stuff together. Some people call it high value or whatever. But they chase those guys, and all the other females are chasing the same guy. They don't chase the guy at the bottom, the guy who's making no money, the guy who doesn't have a job, the guy who's just sitting at home the average guy, they all go for the top 10%, top 20%, right? So, and then, they, then they're then surprised that these guys have other options, you know? You know, it, it's the, it's the, the delusion, it's the delusion of the West. 
And that's why females in the West are, are so delusional, both on their looks and the way they act. You know, it's a, it's a delusion that is created by, by media. Hey, by the way, guys, just to mention, I started my Red, cha uh, red Pill channel. It's called The Red Door. Again, it's called The Red Door. I'm going to type it in here. And I made my first video and more video to come. So if you guys like this type of content, uh, if you like that type of content, um, go ahead and subscribe there. There's going to be a lot of good videos coming out. Um, oops, lost my position there. Fred says, TKO, TKO technical knockout. <laughs> <laughs> You're knocked out, girl. <laughs> now she's sending me kisses. <laughs> ten percent of men sleep with ninety percent of the women in the West. Yeah, I think it's twenty eighty, but ten ninety sounds about right. Yeah, uh, that's why women complain about men cheating. They are all chasing the same men, high value men who have options. Exactly. That's. That's well said, Mike. That's exactly the truth. I, I, I was listening to this guy on uh, YouTube, Kevin Samuels. If you guys haven't checked him out, you should. Great, great show. It's, but it's mostly, um, he's a black guy and it's mostly black females. But it does talk about, he does talk about female nature. There. Great show to see some of the female nature. And he was, he, he mentioned one statistic that 56 or 60%, somewhere between 50 and 60% of all black men were single, and there's only like 20 or 30 percent that were um, actually dating. And all the same girls were going for those 20, 30 percent. So, and so when girls came on there and said they couldn't find a guy, he just called BS on them. You know, that's BS. There's plenty of guys out there looking for girls. It's just that you are all going for the same type of guys. And that is true. That is really true. Um, in the Bible, the king had many wives and many concubines, over 300 women, and he could not do them all at once. So they had a nice place to eat and sleep in the kingdom. So, of course, they're happy. Yeah, exactly. They get everything they want and uh, don't even have to work. While the other guys out there are plowing the fields, hunting, going to war, doing all that stuff to just get a living, you know? I mean, come on. What would you choose? <laughs> Good evening from Canada. It's a nat natural law. Men can have many, many kids, women only few. Yeah, true. That is very true. Yep. NLP books uh, teach facial and eye shift patterns. What does NLP stand for? Maybe somebody can enlighten me here. Um, hi, Paul. Nice to meet you here. I can say in comment, from the start, I was so much happy and content with my wife, and that's why I immediately took me a second one too. <laughs> Joke club. <laughs> yeah. Cheaters are a snack. Oh, that's a good way of looking at it. The the girlfriend is the main meal, and the cheater is like just a snack when you're kind of hungry. Yeah. <laughs> God. Guys, I'm gonna have to buy coffee for me after this. <laughs> She's fuming right now. <laughs> Oxytocin is triggered by three things, love, lust, and soulmate. So maybe not just only a third party. Uh, <laughs> now, Mia doesn't really tempo. She expresses herself now, which I like. Um, David says, I'll be getting out of quarantine in one week. Are you in the Philippines, David? Is that where you're quarantined? So... And where, in Manila or Cebu? <laughs> then it says, Toata, don't buy a scooter, buy a van with curtains. Yep. Or hire a van. Uh, Paul, you're such a handsome romantic. I love how you, uh, how good you treat me. Oh, thank you. I don't know about handsome, but uh, I treat her good. Pizza Hut bathroom works for me. <laughs> Oh, come on, 15K uh, a month and uh, you use a Pizza Hut bathroom? Come on, that's uh, got to spend some of that money. I believe Filipinas are less likely to cheat because they have strong family values like American women did 50 years ago. 
there i agree with you mr ron on average yes they're less likely to cheat because of their because of the social construct here because of what they're taught and the way it's looked upon here so yeah i agree with you however having said that the younger generation today don't seem to have that you know the 25 and below just don't seem to have that so there's that you know and it also, also depends, is, is it a city girl or a province girl? A province girl is more likely not to cheat because, you know, she's, everybody knows her business, right? And that's why some girls travel to the city to be able to have more fun. That's just, that's just the way it is. In general, do you think girls under 25 or over 25 are more prone to cheating, city or province? Yeah, under 25, you'll see it all the time now. These girls under 25, very provocative poses online, lots of TikTok dancing, checking their butts, you know, skimpy clothes, um, ta they're tatted all over their body. So yeah, it's not a good sign of what's to come. Um, over 25, they're generally better. Um, province is generally better than city. Uh, again, I'm talking generalities. There are lots of good girls under 25 and bad girls over 25, but in general, yeah. That's kind of what I've seen anyway. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, genetic evidence shows that ratio of men raising children that they do not know is another man's is about constant across all countries. Really? That's an uh, interesting statistic. Maybe you could email that to me. I'd love to see that. Uh, but it's been shown that, what is it, somewhere between 15 and 30% of females having children in the West. I know in the West. I don't know about the East. But in the West, those babies have been shown not to belong to the person they claim to be the father, the person who thought that was the father, even in marriages. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of that. That's why when you have a baby and, uh, God, he doesn't look like me at all. <laughs> you got to start worrying. Uh, uh, comical to hear me as a response. Have a great day. You too and be safe. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Mike says, best live chat ever. Thanks, Mike. Uh, yep, that's me. Um, I worked in courts in California. Women were shocked, were shock tests. What do you mean by that, Steele? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Mike says, nice, Paul. <laughs> Uh, Mike, oh, Mike's Philippine Journey. By the way, guys, uh, Mike's Philippines Journey. I've uh, watched some of his videos. If you like Red Pill stuff, he's also got a great channel. So check him out as well. Um, so um, Mia, Poet Corner says, Mia is your true counterpart, Paul, like Camilla Klaus in, in, to August Rodin. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm already inside the... The red door. <laughs> okay, you're already inside the red door. <laughs> uh, Paul is launching a new channel. It's my belief that it will become the definite red pill resource for alpha males looking to get what they really want from a relationship with a Filipino. Oh, thank you for that, Tuatha. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, people. Uh, <laughs> it's called the Brown Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Duata is having a lot of fun on my account. Uh, but it's uniquely, Paul is uniquely qualified to analyze the issue in this respect as he spent 20 years in the US as a fully chartered petroleum jelly engineer, <laughs> PJE. <laughs> David says, what is the red pill? Yeah, um, go ahead and subscribe to my, um, to my video. Uh, it's called uh, The Red Door. And there I go into it. And uh, we'll cover it more there. Um, I don't want it to be about that today. Sorry, Paul, but I think I may owe you an apology as I momentarily confuse you with life fleeing beyond the sea. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about other channels here. Um, hello, Paul and Mia, watching from LA, California. My husband and I are hoping to meet you guys in the Philippines. We're in the process of moving, retiring in the Philippines. Yeah, anytime. I've always said this. If you're a subscriber and you want to meet up for coffee, just let me know. I'm currently in Newtown. So in, around in, in and around Cebu area, I can meet up with people. Um, I don't want to travel too far, obviously, but uh, 
yeah anytime man anytime you're available just let me know if you guys want to email me I, you just go to the about section and the email is there it's uh paul's asian a as an alpha d as in david v as in victor so paul's asian adv at gmail um the hot 10 percent from dennis the hot 10 percent girls and hot 10 percent guys in own world but reality is that 80 percent remaining girls that think they are tens are cheating the most i don't know it seems like most women in the west no matter how ugly they are they seem to think they're eight nines and tens so yeah uh neuro linguistic programming that's nlp yeah i was watching one of your videos mike you said you took a six month class right a uh, six month course on uh, uh, humans behavioral pattern facial expressions body language and so on to see if people are lying telling the truth and so on so that that would be interesting maybe you could send me a link on that uh, class if or any free classes i could take online that would be great man that I, I, I really enjoy that stuff because I was never into it before and people would lie right up my face. I could never interpret it, but I've become better. So yeah, that's a great, great, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, thing to be able to have with you, you know? Uh, so yeah, I'd love to learn more about it. I've read one book, but I don't think one book is enough. I'd like to read more about it. I guess it's still better than confusing you with, uh, okay, Tim K or Chrissy, uh, that ties of steel that girl and on a stronger stomach I, I don't know what that means um i may not be able to roast a reindeer for you tonight mia but i have at least lightly toasted <laughs> lightly toasted your buttery norwegian crumpets <laughs> oh you're a funny man <laughs> when you get here man we gotta have a coffee that'd be fun uh, is it possible to have more than one girl there? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I know guys that are single here that have like three, four girls. So yeah, if, if that's if that's your cup of tea, go for it. Uh, hard question, but I'm 46. I'd like to move to the Philippines when I'm 61. Okay. 15 years from now, do you think 15 years the Philippines will be similar to what it is today? Mm, I don't think so, to be honest. I think it will change. Um, I think other countries will probably be, for dating anyway, I think will probably be a better bet than the Philippines. I see the Philippines changing now. I see how the younger generation is. You know, the, the internet has made a big change. They're on YouTube, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook. So it's starting to make a change, but that change is obviously gradual. So it's not an instant change. And by 15 years, I think there will be a lot of changes. Um, so, yeah, I think it will change. But why wait till you're 61? Why not retire a bit earlier? Because remember, really, the golden years are like your 50s. That's when you still look okay and uh, you can go hiking, you, you can go uh, free diving, you can do a lot of stuff. When you start getting up into the 60s, 70s, your body starts kind of breaking down and you have more problems doing stuff on average, you know? So I'd try to get out here in my 50s if I was planning on retiring here. Uh, since joking is frowned upon, what type of conversation takes place between local marriages? Thank you so much for your content. Joking is not frowned upon. People like to joke here. David... Garcia says, I'm in Cebu, leasing a condo. Oh, okay. Cebu City, when you say Cebu, I assume, right? Well, come over, come on over to Newtown. Let's have a coffee. Post. Paul's coffee adventure. <laughs> <laughs> David Mercy. Oh, that's to David. Uh, Ney is 46 and from the province in Bohol. Yeah, I've been to Bohol. There are a lot of pretty girls in Bohol lot uh, gentlemen like paul are such handsome gentlemen um in my four poetry books i call them gardeners i love uncommon dialogue so i'm a gardener actually i do love gardening in the u.s i used to have a garden um does going to church indicate less likelihood of cheating 
or, or can't you tell because most of not all go to church? Well, <laughs> I, I don't think it's less likely they're cheating. I, I really don't. Now, unless they're real, real Christians, I mean, some are, and they'll go to church two times a week and so on. But the ones that go on a Sunday and ask for forgiveness on Monday, they sin again. I just, I've, I've seen the girls coming out of church and doing TikTok, shaking their butts and with their guy friends and, and it's just it's, it's like a social thing they're here. Not going to church, they're showing off their outfits. Yeah, they're showing off their outfits. Yeah, but it, it's going to church is almost like a social thing here, right? It's not necessarily a moral thing. It's like a social gathering, you know, where people get to see each other, know each other. Um, I'm not they saying not all. Really know each other. They just go to church too. But they make friends there. They, it's a Catholic church, big church. Yeah. Like they don't really they don't, talk to each other. They don't talk to each other? They don't talk to the stranger. Oh, okay. So it's more of a show. Me. Just show off? Show off my clothes. Show off your new clothes? Okay. Um, <laughs> see. Um, shocked when DNA results weren't what they wanted. Uh, yeah. Uh, Roy Jones says, who is this Mike you speak of? Mike has a YouTube channel um, where he talks about <clears throat> a lot of Filipino stuff, a lot of red pill stuff um, from his perspective. I don't always agree on everything, but I agree on most of what he says. So I've, I've found his good content. So he, you guys should check it out. Oh, my God, what is wrong with me? I just like women. Virtual hug, all kinds. I mean, a lot. <laughs> And this guy says he likes a lot of women. I think that coffee offer just expired. <laughs> um, okay, it's 8.30, guys. I'm going to go on to about um, 8.45 and then um, call it quits. Heard uh, the old saying, fathers, heard of the old saying, father saying to his wife, good night, mother, four, and wife replies, good night, father of two. <laughs> good night mother of four good night father of two yeah uh, poet's corner philippine women are the most beautiful thai food is the most uh sensuous i find filipino women the most beautiful absolutely without a doubt i find them the most beautiful the one thing lacking here is you can't compete with food from malaysia or thailand so that is kind of lacking i've heard people like they'll meet a filipina and then they'll they'll uh, and they'll really get to know her and really like her and it's a good relationship. And then they'll go to Malaysia, they'll go to Thailand, they'll go to somewhere else with better infrastructure, better food, and uh, that's that's kind of how they like to do it. So I, I can see why people do that. Yeah. Um, Mike says yes, six month course plus ten months in the field. I'll email you the info. Says Mike. Mike's Philippine journey. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Steele says to Mike, he also trained in NLP. Um, that would be a great class to have with you for, uh, you, know, you know, for life, you know. Um, as soon as that little red pill pops out of your channel, I'll be straight up onto it like a honey badger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, that's for steel. What you mean most marriages are a joke? Mm, I never said that. Did you skip my comment purposely? No. What's your comment? Re-comment. <laughs> Sorry if I missed it, man. I picked it up as college therapy class and internship. Uh, let's see. Uh, does Mia get jealous when girls flirting with you? Um, yes. <laughs> if you're with a Filipina and a, a, another girl starts flirting with you and she doesn't get jealous, I mean, she doesn't give a damn about you. <laughs> I mean, she's just with you for the money. <laughs> right, babe? Mm -hmm. um, do you think it's a good place for someone mid-30s to retire? 
day trader, single, no kids. I would love to build a nice family with three with three women. <laughs> you want to build a family with three women? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd have to convert to being a Muslim, Matt. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to start a family here, seriously, I think it's a great place. If you can make a living somehow online and you want to start a family here, it's a great place. Number one, you can hire a yaya for less than 10,000 pesos, $200 a month. So you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night and take care of the baby, you know, and she's making food and everything. So you have less stress that way. So if you can retire here in your 30s, uh, having some type of job online, that's 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 a great thing. Uh, but you have to work because if you retire, if you have enough money to retire at 30 and you're not work, working, I think you get bored. Uh, I mean, I'm 54 and the thing that keeps me going here is YouTube. If I didn't have YouTube, I'd have to start some type of other business online because I, I just have to have something to do. So, yeah. Uh, says I looked for your red door channel, couldn't find it. Really, let me let me put a link to it. Uh, see here. Let's go here. Your channel. Switch account. The red door. So I am gonna get it here. See, sorry guys. Surprised you can't find it, but uh, let's see, back to StreamYard there. Here is a link to my new channel, guys. Appreciate it if uh, you guys would go in there and watch and maybe subscribe. Um, yeah, some comments do get blocked. There are certain words that I've blocked and uh, you just due to trolls and all that kind of stuff. So. If your comment is blocked, try to reword it uh, and re-comment. Sorry about that. Uh, about 20% of mine don't get through due to the content filter. Uh, yeah, so. And also, YouTube blocks some stuff, too. I don't know how that works, but they also do some blocking. Um, well, this is the last comment. Okay, so we'll just finish it up here. Uh, my buddy is vice president of loss prevention and he said with 20 questions and 10 minutes with a suspect he knows 80 percent of the truth he also does lie detect tests if needed huh yeah i think people who have worked in the police or worked in that type of job are really good at uh reading people um so yeah it's a it's a good skill to have a good life skill to have uh, so that's one uh life skill that i would like to learn more about and be better at. Uh, I can't, I don't think I can have time to take a full course for six months, but, uh, you know, just read about it a couple hours a week or so and, uh, learn more about it and just put it in action, you know? Um, so yeah, great guys. Thank you for subscribing to the red door. I'm going to have more content out there very soon. So with that, okay. One more comment. Um, um, Marriage mostly benefits women because women don't marry men who have less than them. That's exactly. Women always uh, marry a cross or higher value, uh, whereas men have no problem marrying marrying a down or broken. Well, I wouldn't say broken women, but marrying down, you know. So, yeah, that's true because men go for beauty and youth and uh, women go for uh, resources and uh, security. So that's just the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And no matter what people tell you in the West, that's the way it's always going to be. It's just the way it is. You know, you, you got to accept it. That's just female nature and the nature of man. There are certain interview techniques. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Roy says, I have subscribed. I'm number 3,900,000. You subscribed to the wrong channel, Roy. <laughs> I have like less than 20 subs. Uh Paul says he's the 12th sub subscriber. Yeah. So, guys, with that, I'm going to finish up and uh, go uh, get some coffee and uh, or more coffee, actually. And uh, see you on the next one. Thank you for everybody for watching. If uh, if you guys would please share uh, that video that premiered this morning, as I think it would be a helpful tool for some guys out there. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button on this one. That helps me out, too. So, 
with that, I got a few more comments to read here before I say goodbye. I can remotely, I can work remotely in the Philippines. I'm a modern day alchemist. Instead of lead, I turn BS into gold. Instead of lead, I turn BS into gold. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, we like your channel. We're looking forward to more vlogs. Thanks, uh, Marcel. Okay, thank you, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, share, and comment, and see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, one more. One more from John. Any tips for a young guy in his 30s? All jokes aside, I do like helping people, so I don't mind the extra women, but are relationships really that different? You can't be happy with one? Uh I mean, that's really up to you, John, whether you're happy with one or not. I, uh, the guys that I know that are dating more than one, it's not really about the relationship. It's more about the physical. Uh, so some people have higher needs than other people. Let me put it that way. And uh, if you're happy in that relation, in one relationship, stick to it, you know? Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.